Hi guys and welcome to see Lunetta's blog and the second blog post ever. So we have this week has been a theme week and the theme has been a plastic free living and today I was checking out in our apartment and in my life to see how much I use plastic and I collected some items here and some options to replace them. Okay, so first I looked in the wardrobe and see the towels. The towels can contain plastic if they are like they put it plastic in it to make it really soft for example. So if they are 100% cotton it's all natural. Then I have here another one and it's lining and it's made of lining and cotton. So it's 100% natural and also really soft. So you don't have to have any plastic in it to have it like soft. And then clothes, they are, I think it's really hard to find clothes that are like, you know, good and do not have plastic in it because almost every cloth today have a plastic and it might not be that bad because for example if the um, cotton is not bio it takes a lot of toxic and water to keep it good and to make it grow so it might not be that bad if there is everything isn't a whole natural but for example clothes these are pretty, but they are full of plastic. They're just all made of plastic. And it might be one reason if you have a lot of yeast infection and every problems down there. So just check your underwear because they might be the reason. Um, I'd advise you to use more natural underwear like these are made of bamboo. They are super soft. And also cotton is really good and it it lets your skin to breathe more so they are better. And then what is my biggest issue with plastic is cosmetics. So most of them are they contain plastic and they are packed in plastic. So this is one of my biggest issues because I'd like to use more natural. But luckily nowadays we have almost every cosmetics in a bio version or plastic version. For example, this conditioning cream is 100% natural and whole vegan as well as this and most of the time these packings are also made of, made of bioplastic so you can recycle them very very well. Um, I want to show you this app I just found it's called Cosmetics and it's it's Finnish app and it tells you what is what is in your cosmetic. It looks like this you you want to scan here you just if i can do it yeah you scan the number code here and it shows you what product it is and here you can also find the ingredient list and i think it's really good because there's a lot of these numbers and letters that does not tell me anything so this this gives you all the ingredients and what does the ingredients actually mean like this. This is gum, so <laughs> full natural. Okay, then kitchen. There are a lot of plastic in kitchen. Um, I didn't find that much because any of our tableware like plates or glasses or anything is in plastic because I want them to look good. But for example if you want to pack the food, normally I use these. These are made of plastic because they are light. I use them because they are light and I like to keep food with me wherever I go. You could replace them with the glass jars and it's good. You can 
you can have in your refrigerator these and put some put a food in this but these are quite heavy so I think it's hard if you want to carry it with you like a lunch or breakfast like I do so I think it's it's hard to take it with you but in your refrigerator if you want to have a food in it and everything these are better and you can heat them and freeze them you just have to be careful that you don't take it out of freezer and put straight to oven because glass may not handle it. Then there's if you buy food, it will almost every time come in a plastic. And it, that's hard because in a normal grocery store, especially in Finland, you cannot find um, that much these bio bio packings you can buy your um, vegetables and fruits and put it in a, this a bio bags nowadays um, before there was only plastic bags but nowadays these are all also these 100% bio bags so they're really good and also of course some kind some products like eggs come always in these. These are 100% recyclable and we actually they are just bio. <laughs> yeah and when we're at the store most of the people take these with them so plastic bags. Um, it does not take a lot to carry with, with you a canvas bags and Mm, some might say it's not good because if it's raining or so it will get wet, but I have these bags. They are They are plastic But I think it's better because I can use them again and again and again So it's better to have these with you than to buy a new plastic bag every time Oh, well, yeah, these are from the kitchen too, so these are maybe the only plastic things we have in our kitchen. You could re replace them with the woods, and we have these, of course. Um, today I realized these might be also be a little dangerous if you leave it in a heated, like near the heated oven or something, they might melt. These do not. Um, then there's also plastic bottles. There are these plastic bottles, bottles made of glass. They have this kind of a rubber coat on them so they won't get, get all broken and everything. But I haven't bought it yet. It's here in Finland. I think it's something like 25 euros so it's 25 and this is like two one and a half euros and I use this all the time I don't buy a new one every time so that's better of course but it's plastic but um, well in Finland you get a pant out of it so you can take it back to the store and you'll get this 20 cents and they go to they recycle it and reuse it so that's not that bad then um, I thought what is something that cannot be replaced and well I thought maybe shoes because well again in Finland we have these four seasons and the winter especially it's cold and it's really really wet so there are of course shoes made of um, like um, canvas and stuff like that maybe maybe even cotton and then uh, natural rubber the bottom but well you cannot use them in Finland <laughs> that's I'm sorry <laughs> yeah but these were those items that I thought I could replace at home and can kind of re replace with more environmental friendly options but um, keep following us in Instagram and Facebook there will be a giveaway every day this week 
we have these fabulous canvas bags and I ruffle them every day and also there will be a blog post about the whole week and and I also give more tips and facts about plastic and just you know think about those tips and if you can do it by yourself it's it's really easy like the one with the plastic plastic jars it's really easy to replace them with these so the tips are not that difficult or doesn't take a lot of money to to have it on your in your own home and in your life so um next week i don't know what will happen let's see but this time let's keep um keep following us on social media and be active and talk to us and leave comments and everything so bye